So thanks to a vote, we will be looking at the Excited Animals outfit set for Nijigaku in the Little Dice Squirrel Festival All-Stars game. As we have done before, we are going to take a look at all the outfits and we're going to rank them from 1 through 9, with 9 being least favorite. I have a section where I have all the outfits and I try to keep it updated. So this is a great way to see where current outfits are, especially if you want to look at all the outfits for each girl. I have have updated so now we have tabs for the premium and the non-premium so this is where you get the exchange tickets so you have to buy those if you want to get most of them as well as the separate by group so there are a bunch of outfits there if you're interested in looking at this uh, there's a link in the description is a great way to have all the outfits shown in front of you and categorize as well as the results will be there as well but with that out of the way we can go ahead and go over my results for the excited animal outfits these are super rares in the game and we do not have one for Shiriko, and I don't think we'll ever necessarily get one. It would be nice if they went back and gave one to her, but she does not have one, and future girls probably won't have one. So let's go ahead and assume that only the initial nine girls will get any. So let's go over and go over my results, then I'll ask you guys to go over your results in a poll. So in ninth place, I have Rina Tanoji, and her outfit, I honestly don't really like it, to be completely honest, and... I rarely do say that. This one honestly has to be related to the fact that she likes cats. And you can see that on her buttons. But I don't know, this outfit feels like she's kind of more like a stray cat or like a clown. And I just, I just don't really like it. I, I could see maybe it's kind of more like the calico kind of cats, but it makes her look like a clown and not so much of a cat. And I just can't really get behind this outfit to be honest I ne never want to put it on I think Rina just has so many more exciting outfits here and I just think all the other animal outfits are better so I give this one ninth and in eighth we get Ai Miyashita's and of course again she I mean it looks like she was almost in like in a swimsuit here and the animal in question I believe is a leopard or a cheetah probably a cheetah and, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of the glove here, it just seems kind of odd, and the one on her right hand or the left side of the image here. And, I would honestly prefer it if it was less revealing, I like the fact it's a hoodie. But, I mean, I just don't really like leopard stripings in general, even though that's what fancy clothes has. But that's just my personal preference. In 7th place we have Emma Verdes and she actually genuinely has a fine one. I think the skirt could be a little longer but you know we got a nice little hat, got the tail here. It's not something that would really grab my attention. I mean I imagine this is for what a deer. And I mean it looks fine. I, I mean and the coloration is alright. It's kind of a brown purplish kind of color. But it's not something I would say it's very eye catching. So it's, it's alright, but it's nothing that I would think, wow, this looks really nice overall. So I, I don't know what else to say beyond that, I think it's just, it's fine. In 6th place I put Karana Saka and she's, as far as I know, supposed to be is a fox. Why? I don't know, I guess because she's foxy, I don't know. That's the best I can come up with. But overall, it's a fine dress, it's nothing special by any stretch of imagination and I get it's blue because you know her coat is blue but I'm not sure what that has to do with a fox at all so it's okay I don't know it's something that I would think is extravagant it's kind of a plain dress to be honest and it just doesn't even seem to really match a fox at all but I don't know so overall I just think it's okay in 5th place, I put Kanata Konoe, and she, of course, is going to have that ram. As you might sometimes see with, of course, her image or her symbol being a sleeping ram. And, of course, that is fitting for her. And, of course, she gets a really nice, fluffy, kind of warm little pajama outfit. Although, I wish it would cover a bit more. I still think this is kind of a cute, soft one. It has her kind of a purple color. And I just think it looks very comfortable. And I, I like the hat. Uh, I like that kind of is the reason why I actually gave it a higher ranking mainly because of the hat Because I just think it's really nice and warm and fitting for Kanata uh, It's not the other sections of 
the dress make me lower it a bit, but overall, I think it's I think it's all right. I kind of like it, and the fact that it kind of feels kind of all snugly and warm makes me like it a little bit more. In fourth place, I put Ayumu Uehara, which of course the bunny being a thing that they also reference in the anime. Although this came before the anime, so I this doesn't get points for being referenced in the anime per se. I'm just trying to strictly f think about this as an outfit, and I don't know, I like the bunny ears. I think it's pretty cute, but the rest of it's whatever, mostly for me. And they got the suspenders, which I guess that's all right. And I know the rest of the coloration theme is kind of. Fine, it matches the pink Ayumu kind of thing that she has, and I guess it has fluffy s slippers, and it has kind of a nice bunny kind of circle tail, uh, spherical tail, which I think it's kind of nice and cute, and she has a nice bow tie, so I think it's a kind of a cute outfit. But I was, I don't know, I felt like I was hoping for a little bit more, but I still think it is nice. In third place, I got. Kasumi Nakasu, and if it wasn't for the middle section where it kind of opens up too much, I would have probably given this number one because I do really like this outfit for the most part. I, the raccoon's really funny and goofy, and it just really matches kind of that costume kind of feel. I really like the just the whole jacket in general. It just looks nice and fuzzy and warm, and I don't know that leaf on the top of her head for whatever reason. This really cracks me up. Maybe it's not a raccoon, probably a tanuki, probably wouldn't it be more appropriate for Japan. But if you think about a tanuki suit and Mario, I guess this matches it a lot more. But overall, I just think this is a really nice outfit, and I just find it funny, and I just like putting it on costume from time to time. So I honestly think this is definitely one of the best outfits in the Excited Animal set. And for the runner-up, I put Setsuna Yuki. Why? Well, maybe that's because I am a little biased here, to be completely honest. But I just think the panda really fits Setsuna very well. Of course, her image color is going to be red, but of course, she also has black hair. And I don't know, just this black, white, red kind of theme just seems to really work with Setsuna. I, the dress might be not the most extravagant thing out there, but I do think it's a nice kind of simple white dress. And I really like the panda ears. I just think it looks really nice and kind of cute on her. And overall, I just think this is a really nice outfit. It's not the most extravagant outfit there, and it's not the most crazy design, but I find it fitting and I find it kind of cute for her. So I am liking this one a good amount. And for my favorite outfit out of the Excited Animal set will be Shizuku Saka's. And hers, of course, being of a bear. Why did I pick her to be my favorite? I don't know. I just, I think that I really like that kind of sweater dress combo that she has, and the the bear hat. I just, I, I really like the hats, especially when they have it here. I just think it's really cute. And I mean, she looks like a teddy bear, and I don't know. It's who doesn't like kind of cute te looking teddy bears? So I think she's cute. It's probably the cutest out of all of them here. I don't know if I would say it's fitting. I mean, her hair is brown, I guess, so... And that matches the bear, I guess, in general, for like a grizzly bear, but... I don't know, I just find it really cute, so I'd end up giving her first place. So, those are just my opinions on these outfits. Of course, you will definitely have your own opinions, which vary differently. So, of course, just like as normal in every video, like this, I will have you guys rate your favorites in a poll. Visit the link in the description below and rate your favorite number one and your least favorite number nine. And then eventually I'll go over the results and have see who has the best overall outfit according to all of you guys. And of course I have references as normal if you need to look at that. And of course this video could be a great reference if you want to take a look at the outfits in 3D. So please visit the link in the description and put your name if you want so I can credit you in a future video. So once again let me know what is your favorite outfit and why. Maybe pick your top three or so and let me know why it's that favorite and why I might be right or wrong. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll go over more outfits in the future. Stay tuned and we'll likely do some Christmas related outfits pretty dang soon. Thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you guys in another video soon.